Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Star Renegades tonight. I think we left our second run off here um, at the end of the third area, right? And we're about to fight the big bad. Or we might have a camp out first, and then we fight the big bad. Uh, one of those two. Yes, okay. Um, do we have enough juice for a level up? We don't. But everybody's... Oh, man. Yeah, three level eights and a pair of level nines, huh? That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's have ourselves a little camp out. Get ready for the, the big bad fight here. How are we doing health-wise? Oh, not particularly good. Didn't we have one that was a group health? Also, we've got this free thing, so we may as well use the free things, right? One free thing there. Another free thing here. I think they're even close to getting the next level up, next friendship level up or whatever. Uh, oh, also we've got this, so we could do a big boost here. Oh, that would give us the, um... Oh, I don't know what the combo attack between our Protag and uh, our, our Aegis is. Alternatively, we could do... Max out on either those two, or to get the initial level up there. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, honestly. Okay. Well, it's free, so we may as well use it for somebody. I am really interested about this combo attack, though, so we'll see. We'll see what it's about. Outgrade artifacts, the actual shield of certitude. <laughs> uh... Uh, okay. Compulsion. Um, group shield boost, and that's that's it. Uh, that's kind of seems kind of a, a shitty combo attack. <laughs> uh, or does it like do everybody does a defend and a reflect shield and a, oh man I don't know that seems I don't know, kind of let down by that. Um, okay, do we have anything, any other freebies here? I don't think so, right? No. Um, do we have any group heals? Oh, no, there's one more freebie. Okay. Uh, damn, we can't go far enough to get, like, a combo with somebody else. But we can get level ones on, uh, I don't know, I guess with this guy. Level 1 relationship with this guy. Alright, Callan, just an artifact thief, right? <laughs> you know about ancient aliens. <laughs> aliens. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, that's right. This guy was the fucking... whack job conspiracy theorist, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, extra damage versus marked and extra... Okay, extra shield is pretty much the important bit there, right? That's pretty much what I care about. Okay, any other freebies? No, I don't think so. But all right, let's see. Um, if there were some... Got a 50% heal, 50% armor repair. Okay, and then a 33% heal. And what, what else is that? Shield defense, which seems good. Um... Yeah, damn, I don't have, like, a an actual heal, a group heal here. We don't have an actual healer. <laughs> damn it. Okay, um, well, I could go with, uh... Let's see, where's that 33% heal? Uh, here. Definitely get our frontline pro tag healed up, right? That's a good idea. And extra shield defense, also good. Um, do we have any other, like, partial heals? There's an auto heal. I think, is that on everybody? Okay, yeah, that's like an auto. Auto heal five per round. That seems pretty good. Um, we've got what, four points? Okay. Um, wasn't there also, is that the only all thing I've got? Oh, except for this. Yeah, shield damage 25% for two combats. Uh, armor defense and crit damage. Well, I guess we only got the one combat coming up, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 
Nuts. Okay. Well, I kind of like the all... Everybody heals five per round, like forever, so that seems pretty good. And now we've got three points left, so let's see what would be best. Additional damage. Oh, we can only use it there for two points. And then what's our other thing we have here? Oh, hold on, is there all the, the auto shield regen? Which, maybe we can get this... Yeah, let's do this. Let's try to get the combo attack between these two. That, that. Oh, it's just barely not enough. Well, that sucks. Do we have anything like 2 and 7? 2 and 6? Shield defense and shield piercing, I guess? Ah, oh, that annoys me. Alright, well, we may as well do that. Guys, we're going to get, I think, for this, for this battle. All right. Let's see what we can see. Unfortunately, we don't get like a free healer or free shield buff on the way. It stinks, but what are you going to do? Alright. Oh, I forgot he was a, a real big boy. Got an antimatter shield, which I don't... What does that do? That just kind of... Uh, let's see what that actually means. Disintegrate effect. Okay, so it's kind of an armor buster type thing. It's got half defense against staggers, which kind of sucks. Uh... So I guess we gotta come at this, like, full-on. Full-on with everything we got. This battle we've been preparing for, right? So let's see. I don't know if I wanna... Oh, that is kind of like a group attack. Oh, right, because it's like group... Group shield regen... And other defense stuff, right? Which, you know, not bad. Um, but I would prefer to maybe just do... Like, massive... Oh wait, that's not a very... Where's our, where's our armor buster stuff here? This one? Only does three. Thought I had some better armor busting stuff here. That? That doesn't do any armor busting. What the hell? I guess since he's still got full shield, it probably doesn't bust any armor yet. Very slight amount of pretty much everything. Okay. Yeah, until we take his shields down, it's not gonna do hardly anything. So, the biggest shield damaging stuff we've got, I think, and then just make sure he doesn't get to go this turn. And if we can kind of limit the number of stagger things we're doing against him, that would probably be helpful as well. Since realistically... That would be enough on its own. This would be, though. do that. Big, heavy slam there, and uh, that right there, probably. Yeah, this will take down pretty much the entirety of his... Well, not the entirety of his shields, but most of his shields and then Um, it'll push him off the timeline for this turn. Poor 
unfortunate pit is that he's reflecting, uh... Reflecting some damage and armor pierce onto us, which, you know, whatever. Can deal with minor shield damage. Okay. It's fine. A little bit of shield regen coming back, and now this is gonna be the problem, so we should make sure to do a stun. Uh, whatever our stun bit is gonna be. Let's see, we've got... 35, so there's... It's kinda like a... Big boom slam and stun, which is fine. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Alternatively, we burn this one. Which stuns him without... Costing as much, right? What else do we have that stuns? Uh, doesn't... Oh, here. Okay, yeah, he's got a, a thing that stuns as well. Which... You know what? I think I'll burn this. Well, it's got a little bit of armor break to it as well. What's uh, our other dude's thing do? It doesn't have any armor break. It's very light. Very light attack. Um, you know what? Let's burn that one right now. Okay, and then everybody else can just wreck shop here. Hmm, well, if we're gonna... Okay, that'll take down his entire shield. Let me, let me go back on this a little bit, because I have a feeling that if we do... Okay, that's not not all of his shields just yet. That'll be all shields. Plus a little tiny bit of armor, and then we can go with our... Uh, okay. Oh, Sunder would be the, the big armor buster that we have, but we can go with the cleave. And that'll take a good chunk off his armor as well. <laughs> Hey, game over. How you doing? See ya. Okay, that's not quite his shield. This should be his shield here, yeah? Now everything we do will be... ...doing some armor busting and stuff, so that's good. Oh, he gets to go immediately. Oh, that just sets his shield, that's fine. Um... <laughs> oh, that's a big attack! <laughs> it's 130. So now would be the time to use probably a big boom. Well, maybe not the big boom uh, stun just yet. If we've got a smaller stun that we can do, it should be this one. And it also does... Uh, a little bit of armor break. So let's do that. So he doesn't get to go. Fuck him. Um, and now we get to do all of our... Well, most of our... Uh, armor busting attacks. Which is gonna be this. And... This. And... Let's see... Looks like eight is the best we can hope for there. And then two, twelve. Twelve is great. Or, or I could put this off for one round and wait for whatever this is going to be. Although this would be pretty good. Well, he's going to get to go, I think, next turn regardless, right? Let's do the normal one, then. So that'll bust probably a good two-thirds of his armor. Or about half of it. 
other. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have... We have somebody that can do an instant attack here. That isn't... Um... Actually, that's just gonna focus her down, huh? This might be a free... More or less a free turn. Um, I could do a guard here. She'll take the, the brunt of that attack, and then everybody else can just fucking go wild, right? Let's keep doing massive armor-busting stuff as best as we've got, right? And maybe this time... Plant explosives here. Does this count as a thing that we can get fury on? No. Okay. That's fine. Um, do we have any... Okay, we've got a slight armor bust here. That's excellent. Okay. So everybody still gets to go. We get plus three fury. That means we've got enough fury to do a big boom slam stun attack. So if his next turn after this one is a big problem, we can say no. <laughs> we can say no and fuck you. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Mm. Okay, he gets to go pretty quick there. I don't like that. What happens if... Oh, but that doesn't do... Is he, like, super resistant to... 100% defense versus nitro. Is that, uh... Is that technically what this thing is? No, it's concussion, so I don't... get why that wouldn't take effect immediately. Just do... Just fucking murder him. Alright, so maybe we wait. This would be a good choice, possibly, but I probably want to do a stun. So he's doing a big AoE attack. I don't want him to do that. So uh, why don't we ensure that we instead don't let him do that. <laughs> do not let him, him attack here. And, uh, now we can really lay into him. So he's at about half health, and most of his armor's gone. We can get rid of the rest of this armor. There's a minus eight. There's a minus twelve. Okay, yep, that's the rest of it right there. So now, whatever we do after this is just gonna... Take him down pretty well, so we may as well just unload with our heaviest stuff. Alright, his armor's gone, he's sub half health. Good hits there, good hits there. He's also bleeding, I guess, right? Now, however. Okay, we might have a, a chance to break him off the off the time here. Um, will this do it? Yeah, there we go. So that right there will do it. And then it's a matter of let's do like extremely large hits here. Um, our other option is maybe just that. That goes at what fifteen. This would also go at 15. Oh, I could also do this. Which is, you know, 108 plus 54 plus whatever, and does bleeding. So that's not a bad hit either. So if I do that and I do maybe shield throw here just to make sure he gets broken off the timeline, then we can do massive boom slam here. And do a uh, big boom there. For Grinzies, right? 161 is pretty good. Um, I guess that's going to be a pretty big hit. 147, huh? 
Or this. I mean, I guess that does... Will that do slightly more? 153 plus 76 crit versus... 147 plus 74 crit. That doesn't matter, huh? That seems to reduce the... His health meter a lot more, though. It's that. Then whatever this is gonna be, it's gonna be... Yeah, he's almost gonna die here. Which is great. Which means, like, one instant attack, and then he's fucking toast, pretty much. Next round. Okay, pretty good. I don't care that he lost his own shields there. It's fucking fine, whatever. 207, it's pretty sizable. Ah, damn. Nice. Okay. Just a little tiny chip damage there, and then whatever we've got. What is he doing? Okay, he's just doing a big single target against our frontline protag. That's fine. Honestly, that's fine, because, uh... You know, I almost wonder if we can kill him before that. <laughs> 83 is pretty good. Plus, he's only got now, like, we got 92 left. Do we have any, like, real quick attacks here? We could probably just do the... Yeah, just do that. And kill shot. I could have done that first. Alright, this guy's fucked. Excellent. I think he got to go once. <laughs> he got to go once, and then we, uh... We murdered him otherwise. Good fight. Good fight. Well prepared for, and well planned, and then well executed. So hey, we did it. That's right, and then we rescued, uh, this other dude, right? And he doesn't join us right now, right? He's just like, oh, oh yeah, I'll catch up with you next time. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, flavor text, flavor text, yada, 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 okay. All right, so we know that we get our floaty robo friend to join us as our sixth party member, right? So we've got our crew, we've got 466 buckos. I guess we can level up somebody. We'll see what the gear purchases are about here, though. Let's look at weapons first. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> uh, well, that's unquestionably an upgrade. Oh, but there's also... that. 50% damage and health steal. Which is also very tempting. How much money we got? 466. Ah! Nuts. Okay, so I'm very tempted by this. Because that's... Ooh, that's a real good upgrade. Uh, what about this S-word? Uh... Massive armor damage boost. Not armor steel, though. So that's probably a no. But okay, uh, if, if we think that we're gonna buy this... 243, that would leave us with... 223 left, right? And what do we got over here? Oh, damn. It's all, like, kind of out of range. <laughs> so was, uh, we're going to get one purchase, you know, one purchase out of any of this. So, um, any one of these. Oh, man, that has health steal just on it on its own. And also massive armor damage, which, uh, let's say we give this to my frontline protag, and she gets serious boost. Or, 
Uh, okay. Budget Han Solo doesn't have a heavy attack, I don't think, so that'd be a less of use there. He's already got a pretty good implant. Ah, oh, damn, that's tempting. Um... Just give somebody straight up armor boost. Which might not be a bad choice either. Or just a massive shield boost. Nobody's level 10 though. Like, that's kind of the problem. So we'd have to level up we have to level up somebody twice or somebody once. But having a like a a passive shield regen. Ah, uh -huh. that's that's real tempting. Leading nine on all attacks. Health steal on all attacks. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I can say no to this one. Then we can redistribute that chip to somebody else. Uh, if anybody else can use it, actually, I don't know. All right, let me think about that for a moment. Because I mean, the other option would be. Uh, I was gonna give somebody this rifle. I think this guy, right? then that's a massive damage boost and also health steal. That might be more valuable at this point, because he, he would just need one level up to, to use it. Plus it's the cheapest. <laughs> It's the cheapest one, and maybe whatever we sell off of him will be worth enough that we can get something else. Okay, let's do it that way. Let's get that one. Um, let's level him up. And then he can use uh, the better rifle. And we get si we only get six bucks for this one? Ah, oh, Is that going to be worth anything? Probably not. Well, let's see. If I wanted to get, then, one of these other ones, how much did, How much would I need? I would need... That's 25% to light attacks. Uh, no. I don't want that one. I want this one. Yeah, that would be a lot of money. I'd need almost a hundred more buckos, and I don't think I'm gonna get a hundred buckos by selling what I have. But, I could... Light attacks. I don't think she has light attacks, but I could get it just for the armor steal. be a bad idea. So this is really the only one that's in range. Otherwise, right? But I don't think selling that Reaver chip would get me... How much do I need yet? 14 buckos? I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, well... <sighs> then there's the matter of this, right? I could... I can afford this, but... I don't think it's... a good enough trade-up to try to sell this to get it. Realistically, I'd love to grab this one, but I don't have enough money for it. Because I'd need, what, 60, 70, 71 more buckos. I don't think selling his thing is going to do that, right? So how much is that worth? I mean, I could sell these. Oh, I'd sell these two. Oh, I guess I'm not using these, so I can sell these. Alright, 249. It's... Uh, how much is that worth? 36 bucks. Okay. 
Now I've got 249. I forgot I had some other things I could sell. None of that, but I could. Ooh, yeah, that's just barely enough to get that. Okay. Um... Is armor steel enough? <clears throat> okay, she's got health steel right now, but she doesn't have any counters, so... She's not getting that extra damage boost there. Alternatively, I give this to Frontline Protag. Oh, does she have a, a light attack? Normal, combo, combo, whatever, heavy, normal. Okay, she does have a light attack. Okay, so she could still benefit from it. And what was the what was the thing? Plus twenty five percent damage to light attacks. Would I give up the ten percent damage boost across the board for it? It also has armor steel on pretty much all attacks, except for flurries, I guess, yeah? That seems good enough, honestly. Yeah, give me that. Then we're down to... Essentially shit we can't use, right? And I get one bucko for that. Oh, I should have given that to somebody else. Whoops. Well, too late. I don't know if anybody else could have used it an implant, and only, like, three of our five folks can use implants. Or four of our five. Yeah. And everybody else has got a thing in their implant slot. So, okay. I, that was probably the, the best we could have done there. Took, like, ten minutes to sort it out. Uh, okay. I think we're ready. We're ready to go. Ready to head towards uh, the final area. And see what we can do. Actually, wait. Let's look at our, at our lineup here. He's got plenty of shield and some armor, so he's okay on the front line, maybe. But we just gotta make sure he gets protected. Because <laughs> who else could conceivably go on the front line? Nobody, because our back line has sub three digit shields, but a fair amount of health. So I guess we'll leave them up front for now. But even so, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that we're going to be one attack away from getting total here. Just like last time, where things went in a poor order and then we got fucked over. Um, but alright, let's do whatever we can do here, get the free stuff going. Also this. Okay, uh... Do this one here. <laughs> You're a thief, right? A university professor of archaeology liberates artifacts and culturally appropriative medium <laughs> tourist sites. Okay, this is the... Alright. Indiana Jones, right? <clears throat> Basically means stealing stuff, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Alright, more shields and more shield damage. I'm into that. Um, anybody else have a free thing they can do? No. That was all the freebies, huh? Okay, well... Do you like the auto health heal? We don't really need it right now. So why don't we do... Yeah, five points. Okay, here's the shield boost for everybody. Oh, plus that does like a free... Free level two relationship there, which means a free combo, right? So Yoinkaruski. I didn't think our conspiracy theories aren't as rigorous. <laughs> Some of the most powerful people in galactic government are shape-shifting lizards. Oh, man. Okay, sure. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, that's 100% what I meant. <laughs> Fucking great. Okay, and we get this combo, which is... Oh, it's a single-target one. 
That stinks, but it's good against shields. Which I enjoy. Um, any other... Okay, just this one. Would have been all across the board, but we're short one point for it. Alright, well, then we can do some... Maybe a pair of the one-pointers? Here, wait, what is that? Auto shield regen, I like that. Uh, try to work our way towards level one relationship there, I guess. Although we could probably get a little bit further with, uh, let's see, two six or one five. Let's do two. Oh, we can't even use X. We need to be level one friends already. All right, how about we do this then? Uh, it's not quite going to be enough, but we'll try it anyways. Alright, so then I think the final final area is just a, a series of battles, right? More or less straight through, then we fight Harold, and then we fight, um, what's his nuts? Uh, Protag's brother, I forget his name. Uh, oh, Davy, that's right. But he's only got defense against staggers, so that might be alright. It's Davian we gotta watch out for. Oh, and he's only got defense against staggers. But he's got oh, 1,400 shield. 2,100 health. Plus he's got, like, self-heal or something in the middle of the battle, which sucks ass. Ugh. Alright, well, whatever. Okay. How much level up juice do we get? We got 124, so we'll probably get enough juice for... Love to get everybody to level 9, maybe. We could probably do that with a few fights. Also consider a level 10 for our two front liners, right? Might be a not bad idea. Okay, so what are we dealing with here, then? Level 10? Oh, goody, great. Level 10, level 10. Oh, level 10's all the way around, huh? Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> but, if we go straight up the middle, we get the shield and armor buff refill stuff, which seems good. Is there a health refill somewhere around here too, or is that... No. Or we could roll the dice, uh, go up the sides, and get the extra level up juice. Uh, I think we almost have to go up the middle. It's one, two, this will be probably a bit of a problem. This one probably will not. Then we've got this, which we should probably fight Harold first. Go back, grab these two, and then fight Davian. Is Can we do that? Or is it going to put... Oh, there's there. Okay, there's the health thing there as well. So, shield, armor, health. I hope we can fight Harold, recharge, and then fight Davian? I don't remember if that's how it went before. Well, either way, we're going up the middle, so let's, let's do this. Okay, uh, five on three. He gets to go first, because he already does. Shit is. Oh, and this guy gets to go first. Cool, yeah, thanks. Is that just a stun, right? Who amongst our crew doesn't- Oh, he can still plant explosives, though. That's pretty fun. Excellent. Well, if he can't do nothing else, right? Uh, what, what are they doing, now? We've got a big AoE coming. And then, oh, they're trying to focus that down. That's fun. And then they're gonna focus the protag as well. Uh, alright. Well, if we guard... I'm gonna have to guard here, unless we can not see. Uh, that one is going slightly later. <sighs> this guy's going, like, right away. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Do I have somebody going at five seconds that we can... ...make sure he doesn't get to go right away? No.
Okay, cover fire only does 34 damage. That's kind of kind of dumb, but it also boosts. Does an instant shield boost, right? Uh, but I don't want it to be instant. I want kind of want her shield to go down first. Ah, okay. This kind of sucks. I don't know what I'm going to do about most of this. Well, luckily, big dude doing the AoE attack is going last. That one's going kind of second last, so we might be able to pull this off without doing a dumb guard or something. That guy's going to go almost immediately, so I might be best off just defending or um, guarding here. So that'll take off most of her shield, but it'll also reflect a quarter damage back to him, which seems pretty okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. That means she's free to just big boom slam everything into oblivion. Um, uh, if I do Sunder, I can target anything, but that'd be going after that, so why don't we do Salvo there, and I can't do Broadside there, and I can't do Canfire's a rando one. God, I really don't have anything that can target this fucko. At least not intentionally. Right? That annoys me. Because, like, these two are clearly on the front row, right? Why can't I target them both? Oh, because he's fucking guarding other dipshit, isn't he? No? Eh, yeah, sort of. Sort of. I guess that might be it. Okay. Alright, so maybe we, we back this out. Let's cancel that. Let's instead guard this one. Then she won't take full shield damage, and then do a defend here. So then she'll be mostly protected. And then we can just make sure big dipshit doesn't get to go this time. By doing, uh, uh, I guess that. That does a fair amount of damage, plus armor break. Now it's just up to this, these two, huh? Okay. Um. Okay, that does a. Okay, that does armor break plus ten delay. Yeah. Well, he's gonna go after the fact anyway, so that'll torpedo his armor entirely, which I'm into. And then we may as well just be like, hey, set up for an AOE next time. I'm into that. All right. Okay. He gets to go. You know, whatever. And 234. Shield damage, whatever. Yeah, fuck you. Um, and then kaboom, bam, boom. You don't get to go. Um, and then you, <laughs> you seriously don't get to go. And armor bust, and we're good there. Okay, now it's gonna be a matter of. Oh, uh, okay, that's just a, a shield drain, huh? That's okay. We can deal with that. And I think now he's not even moving. He's just, uh, he's just doing whatever. He's doing counters. That's okay. I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing. I guess he's getting guarded by... By this guy? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, so I either need to do... Well, I mean, I could do this. Except it does, it's not going to hurt him, right? So maybe we let that cook for... We let that cook for one round. I don't have enough fury to do a stun. He's doing a big AoE. I hate that. Uh, do we have enough to do... We do. If we do this... Oh man, she's going to be taking all of that damage. Maybe we don't want to do that. 
So instead, we just kind of do the most damage we can possibly do. Should do about half seas there. Oh, he's going to get to go. Uh, we'll rethink that. under 63 plus 41 that's a late hit 47 31 79 51 okay so there's about half seas on his shield and then it's really slow i don't like that most of those are pretty slow as well okay that's all his shield I... Okay, that's gonna be most of his garbage. Just kind of gone. And we could eat the one return fire. How much is that gonna do? Alternatively, can I make him not do that? Yeah, I could cancel the shit from him right now. Be like, no, fuck you. You don't get to return fire for shit. Um... I imagine if I do one of these, at least dipshit in the back gets fucked over, right? It's AoE. So if I do this to cancel his uh, counter, right? And then do AoE... How are we doing? If, this guy, I think this guy, big dude with his AoE attack is going to get to go no matter what, I think. What's that going to cost us? Not, not much. Not much. I, I, budget Han Solo is going to lose a little bit of armor and a little bit of health, but that's about it. So why don't we do this? Say, yeah, fuck your... Fuck your counterattacks, you dipshit. Oh, he gets to, he got the counter anyways? Excuse me? Okay, but that should get rid of it, right? Yeah, I think now he's no longer able to do whatever. Hmm, that's kind of a problem now for... Maybe not. Maybe it's not that much of a problem. So now we do... This. AoE. Murders most things. Um, so now what else can we do? Probably just the biggest attack we've got. It's his... His armor is gone. This guy's gonna die probably anyways next round, so we may as well just do that. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's he's out of the picture entirely. That's great. He gets to do his big AoE, whatever. Uh, Budget Han Solo takes a bit more of a tap since he had fewer shields because of the counter attack thing. And everybody's on fire. That's okay. I, amongst all of those, I think we kind of came out ahead. Um, now we get to be like, hey... You get to move back, sir. And then... Uh, okay, that doesn't do any stagger on its own. Only target that one. Can we target... Yeah, okay. Target this fucker. Just get him... Out of here. For the most part. And then I think... Protag's attack will push him off... Entirely, right? No, it won't. But... We can perhaps guarantee that with a different attack. Actually, wait. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. So do we have somebody else that can target that fucko? The delaying attack? No. So we would have to make sure that big fucko gets murdered. 
<laughs> uh, before he gets to go. That would be fine. I think we can do that. Yeah, he's more or less toast there. Really just need one additional attack. Okay, so there's a kill shot. And then we just need to make sure... Okay, he's gonna go next. And that delays by 10, yeah? Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough either. Well, if that delays by 10, push him back a little bit, and then it'll be 15. Okay. I can't do that like that. But, if I delay by 10, and then... God, I wish I could do a little bit more here. Alright, I'm gonna have to rearrange this, I think. rethink this. Um, okay, I can't delay him by 10 before that happens. So like that, and then uh, shield throw here. Oh, that's gonna just kill him. That's, that's good too. I like that. And then we've got a few things we can do here, just move back like that, and then, I don't know, I guess, would that be enough to kill? Probably. Looks like it would be. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> this might just end here and now. Okay, so that guy's totally fucking toast, right? Okay, and that guy's toast too. Alright, that works. That works. And really, the only one that took a non trivial bop is Buttered on Solo. And that's fine, we can recover from that. <sighs> okay, um. 284, we could bring our other two folks up to level 9, right? Which might not be a bad idea. I think I'm going to do that. So they get a slight health boost. And a thing that we can't use until next run anyways. Oh, which, well, actually no, we won't be able to use it. Because it was a, a little campfire card thing, right? So, all right, that was sort of a waste besides the health boost, but we might be able to get... What would we need? 178? Uh, we'll see if we get enough uh, juice for that. Fight this fucker here. I don't know that we're going to get 172 out of a single fight, especially a fight like this. It's, you know, it's pretty weak, honestly. Well, we'll see what we can do. Um... Okay, what can we do about front dipshit? We can just get him off the timeline immediately. Seems good. Let's do it. Bonk. Fuck you. Really, the fury buildup for the upcoming battles is pretty good, too. Uh, fortunately, that also means... We'll need to uh, kind of divide up our stuff here, but we got two more dudes here, so we may as well think about doing. Oh, there's a kill shot. That's great. Get one off the field immediately, and then just do whatever. What come what may. Oh, is that? That's an instant. Oh shit. That's pretty fucking great. Uh. I didn't realize that was an instant AoE. I really like that. But if we want more control and probably a good armor buster, uh, I can cancel that briefly and see. It's 
realistically, I would prefer to get... Okay, maybe that, get that dude out of here and then just do instant AoE. Okay, he's not gonna die, but he might bleed to death too. You know what, let's do that, fuck it. So that does a little bit of armor busting for the others. Gets that guy out of here, perfect. Plus four furies, so 32. Good crit there, armor absorbed that I don't think we necessarily needed, but it's fine there. His armor's toast. He is nearly dead. He's gonna fucking bleed to death at the very least. There we go. Okay, I'm into that. Ooh, gross. A lot of shield damage there. I don't like that. Oh, no actions available. For who? Who doesn't get to go? Oh, nobody. Oh, it's our bomb carrying rope friend. That's fine. He didn't get to go anyway. Ah, but then there's the question of, can we make sure that this fucker doesn't get to go again? No, not this one, but pushing severely back. And he's bleeding. And staggered more, I guess. I don't know. Make sure he doesn't get to go. Also bust his ass. Bust his shields on out of here. That's more or less gonna murder, which is great. We could do an AoE and just really make sure he fucking dies. Kind of into it. And then we get to do, oh, I don't know, just a big boom slam on that guy. This fight with full ass fury, I like it. right that big boom slam more or less dead can we do enough damage oh yeah we'll definitely be able to do this before they even get to go yeah there's gonna be a guaranteed kill I like it Guaranteeing we have uh, full fury before we go, and whoever gets to go first here is gonna get it. So probably uh, our conspiracy theorist dipshit here. Okay, pretty good. That I don't think that's enough. Uh, I don't think that's enough juice to level up, though, is it? No, we're just a little bit shy. But I would imagine. Ah, see, I don't want to waste these. I don't want to waste these, but I have a feeling that once I cross this threshold that they're going to be gone anyway, so... Because we won't be able to go back on the path. That's what I, I think. That's what happened last time. So we may as well do... Bim, boom, bam. Let's give... Uh... Give our Protag the shields, and give our Aegis the armor. There we go. So now we've got two difficult fights in sequence. I imagine if we beat the shit out of Davian here, there's gonna be a third fight. There's gonna be like an actual big bad fight. But, uh, It's gonna come down to me not fucking up the order of things. Which is, uh, not guaranteed. <laughs> I'm pretty confident we'll get through this fight. But only because we are, like, fully kitted out and fully equipped and fully shielded and everything, so... Ugh. I am a little bit annoyed by some of this. I think we'll need to maybe... Just get that out of here entirely. Just don't have to worry about it. Oh, there's a counter on that. Great. I didn't even notice that there was a counter on that. That's cool. But whatever. That one's no longer moving. So now we get to go like... Oh, we don't because it's front line or back line. Ugh. I hate it. And I bet this one's 50% defense versus staggers. Yeah, of course. Oh, and it's being covered by that. Great. Awesome. 
Uh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't think any of our combos are AoE either. It's all gonna be... Realistically, I should probably attack top idiot there. It's a pretty good armor buster. We'll let this one take a shot for now, because that's not going to really harm us. But I am more interested in just getting this top idiot out of here. Much rather do that. Actually, wait, we've got. Oh, I already we have this guy doing whatever he's doing. I don't want him to do that. Let me, let me do AoE here. I'm gonna get a return fire. That'll torpedo his. Well, that might not. He'll take and counter, I think, right? Which is all of the <laughs> All right, uh, well, not exactly what I wanted, but that's all right. But I did want him to go first so we could do... Get a kill shot on the top one with fewer counters from there. We can work on getting this one down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's slight whatever there. It's fine. Big Boom Slam should take that one out of contention. Then we really just need to deal with these two. Uh, so, then we can guarantee that this one doesn't get to go again. And then, other dipshit... Okay. I think we've got enough time to deal with center dipshit here. Other question I have on this is, can I just murder this outright without having to worry about it? I think I probably can. So let's think about that. If we instead want to do... Sun Sunder the big armor buster? It is, but we're still dealing with shield as well. Annoys me. Um, so maybe instead... Okay, that's not gonna... Might do... Is this... Okay, no. It doesn't have shield. It's got a lot of armor. That's probably the big thing that's stopping the most of the attack there. I try to just go with AoE stuff. Or I could focus down. Realistically, all I need to do here is push this fucko back far enough. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. Okay, we could do that, and then if we make sure we do 35, okay. Um, but, need to make sure Sunder. Okay, that's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough to push him off. I hate that. Okay, got a problem with this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Keep that one. I think I need to do two slightly larger attacks. 20 seconds. 
35. Okay, I can't target with Sever. That's, that's it. Do that, we do that, and we do... Salvo? No. What can we do about this? I need somebody else to be able to target that back bro dipshit, but I can't. None of this does it! Ugh. Alternative is to make sure this shit ass gets off the timeline, really. Okay, so he's gonna get to go no matter what, which is. Yeah, we can survive that. We can survive that hit. So maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. So instead, then, we can make sure. It probably gets out of here. There we go. All right. So this fucker should be gone. Yeah. And then I don't remember what attack I was doing here. I don't think it's going to matter, really. A little bit of armor busting because of the armor absorb. And then, you know, small amount of shield damage is fine. And now we get a full ass just wreck shop. Wreck every bit of armor we can do here. Uh, that one doesn't do stake, right? So we can use that to do a lot of shield damage. Uh, same probably for here, although we've got a better armor buster, don't, don't we? Yeah. And it makes sure it gets out of here. Then realistically, I'd probably want explosives here in case it brings the, the two tentacle dipshits back. Now we can just make sure we're doing maximum armor damage. Right? Which I think is gonna be about that. Okay. Alright, there go shields. Now we're doing max armor break here. Well, not no armor break here, but plenty of actual health damage, which is great. There's 13 armor break. Excellent. Now, I suppose we've got enough to should be able to push him off one more time here. One more, like, slightly large attack. That one? Yeah. Okay, so that'll push him off entirely. That means we can use a nice armor busting sunder. Uh, okay, that'll be full armor break there. And then we can do late targeting burst shot there, which should keep most of his health. Okay. 13 armor break is great. 5 armor break is good there. Okay, now we're good. Real big hit there. 346 is excellent. So now, can we get by without using a stun? We might be able to do it. <laughs> because there would be this one here, which is excellent. Good hit. Bonk. 89 is great. He's bleeding as well. Also excellent. Um, AoE might be good there. So that goes immediately. And then we just need to do a kill shot there. Perfect. 
get rid of him without burning any of the fury, so that leaves full fury for next fight. Excellent. And realistically, only Budget Han Solo took a very minor tap there. Oh, damn, we got a lot of level up boosts there. That's great. I don't think we would get that much. Okay. Uh. So now we get our choice of, like, powered up secondary attacks here, right? And we can do two of them. We can give two folks here. Uh, and that's about it, right? Double 178s or a 207 178. So let's see. Chop is a heavy, so that's kind of like the powered up um, cleave. Slightly slower. But 126 plus 82, and also significant armor steel, right? Otherwise, there's Deflect 2, which is now does 35% reflect damage. It's about the same, right? It's instant. Broadside 2, which does hella good damage. 149 plus 74. Blitz 2, which does even better stagger plus a little bit more damage and reduces defense which is great um, or rip fire which is you know I'm least enamored with rip fire I think so I'm thinking maybe blitz 2 and broadside 2 are the big the big heavy hitters here Chop, I don't think we'll be able to use very often, because it's very slow. And Deflect 2 is just kind of like, eh, whatever. And Require, I wasn't impressed with. So let's go ahead and do Blitz 2. Broadside 2. And that will have to be what we have. Okay. <laughs> let's not fuck this up this time. I know, like, at least... I think it's two rounds in, he summons additional dipshits. Which I fucking hate. <laughs> Don't like that he gets additional dipshits. Um, and I think... Budget Han Solo, he, is, he doesn't get to go at all. Damn. I hate it. Alright, well, that in mind, then, he can focus on maybe... Doing some shield busting. So if we do that first, and then we do... We have to do Sunder, I think. God, that's not even enough. We need something better. We need Sever. Yeah, there we go. So I do a little bit of armor absorb, at least. But I'd really like to get through his shield first, if we can. That's not going to do anything. Alright, I think if we do, like, maybe the two, two early attacks, and then we can unload with Then we can unload with stuff that won't do stagger. I believe it's gonna be these two, and that'll eat over half his shield. Which is good. Work this down in the correct order. I like to see that. That's good. Okay, now... <laughs> now what can we do, though? Like, he's gonna get to go. But we'll be able to survive that. We could do even more by... 
kind of absorbing the hit there and just let everybody else do stuff. So we could do a little bit of armor pierce there. That would be do slightly less. So if we could get folks to maybe just do everything except... I'd like to do stuff that doesn't do... Uh, stagger just yet. Not that it matters, I don't think. Since we're not going to stagger him in one go no matter what. So we might be better off... Eating that stagger now. Which would have to be... Well, we could do it here, maybe. Oh, that's not going to do anything anyways. Does he, like, totally resist normal, or what? Because that should do 25 stagger. And it's not. But it does do 13 armor pierce, so I'm kind of cool with that. That does 9 armor pierce as well. So I guess realistically, this is probably best. Because that does... That eliminates all his shield. Does a fair amount of armor damage. Oh, I see. We're doing one hit on his... We're doing the one hit stagger here, regardless, right? Okay, so that's fine. That's fine and good. He gets to do his one hit, which will do, I think, only shield damage on our Aegis. And also reflects 25%, right? So there's all the all the shield damage we got. I don't like whatever this is gonna be. Right, because he gets hella good armor. I hate it. <laughs> and that does a pretty good amount of damage there. The alternative is we guard, let the Aegis take the hit, and then just focus down whatever we can. Other alternative is we burn a stun here, and then unload. Try to get his armor below probably trip digits at least. Because how many stuns do we have? We've got a combo... No. We've got an... A single stun here from Budget Han Solo. We've got a combo stun with Budget Han Solo and Protag. We've got a single stun from Conspiracy Theorist. Uh, and that might be it, actually. So we've got three available stuns. If we burn one here... Would it be valuable to burn one here? So we could do this. That would stun him, it wouldn't break any armor. Like, that's probably the last one we should use, then. Uh, do we have anything? Yeah. So here's a here's a stun plus an armor... plus a two armor break. And a slight hit to health, I guess. Because then our other stuns would be, I think, 15 and 20 Fury, respectively, which would be essentially the entire Fury pool. So... Let's think about that, and then our other single stun would be here. Which is... You know, it's, okay, it's armor piercing, slightly. But not as much. Plus it applies bleeding, which is good. And it's single target the way it is, anyway. Which I think is probably for the best. Well, he's... Okay, so wait. What are his other options? He's got 13 armor break. Or we plant explosives to be used later. Okay, he also has 13 armor break. Alternatively, I don't stun him here. Let him do his attack so we can stagger him later. 
and then we take care of this kind of right here. And if we're gonna do that, maybe I burn a non-stun combo here. So then we can do massive damp. well, with his armor I don't think we're gonna do massive damage, are we? Because if we do this, which this is probably the biggest damage out we've got, yeah, that doesn't do shit to him. So maybe we wait there. So then we're back to maybe doing just whatever. Oh, we don't get the armor break on this unless it's a, a crit anyway, so that might be a, a no-go. Then our options are to do that and... Yeah, not everybody's got an armor breaking fast enough attack to get in before his, what well, it looks like, 10 seconds. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Well, here's kind of the big armor buster busting move. 24 armor bust. It also does a little bit of stagger, which might wait on that, but it reduces defense too. Hmm, I think maybe I wait on that. I wait on that. I use uh, one stun here, right? Yeah, let's burn the stun here. Very minor health damage, whatever. Um, now we are at liberty to just unload with whatever armor breaking stuff we've got. Which don't have any pretty much any armor break here, except for this, which, you know, tiny armor break, whatever. We can do that, and then biggest armor break we've got here would be Sunder. Pretty not bad. And then biggest armor break we've got here is Broadside. Oh, we could also do that, which does an additional 50% armor damage. Nah, maybe we wait on that. So we do that. And then biggest armor break here would be dump fire then. That takes him down to 96 armor. It's about 50-ish. 50 50-ish 50 armor damage there. Not bad. Kind of into it. Oh right, because she does the health steal. That counts as uh, health damage. Bypass the armor. I like that. Also the health steal, which is why his health is going down. I like that. A lot, in fact. Okay. So, uh, that's a big AoE attack, so now would be the time to probably burn another stun. And we've got one more single person stun here, which also does a very small amount of armor break. Yeah, I think we do that here. Then we've got one stun in reserve, which will be uh, Budget Han, Solo, and Protag combo attack, right? So now we work on... Yeah, still armor busting, I guess. It's still the best we've got. It's all of this. We're getting a minor amount of fury back. So put our, our fury back up to 31, I think. Also get a pretty good armor bop there. Let's put his health down to about two thirds. Okay. All right, okay, so now he summons the dipshits, all right. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that he gets three additional dipshits. Fuck ass. All right. Um, plus he gets to get his health and armor back. Such bullshit. And we can't do anything about that unless we burn our last stun on it. Which we could do! <laughs> we could do that! 
Um, okay, we can't use our, like, biggest... Okay, like, here's the other combo we've got is this, which does a fair amount of damage otherwise, right? But I feel like letting him do his... his armor and health regen is a bad news. Extremely bad news. All right, so assuming we do that last last stun that we've got available to us, how much does that cost? 20, yeah? Okay. I think we can do that again if we get back up to 20 Fury. So, all right, assuming those two are kind of out of here, can we then... Yeah, I like the AoE for sure, but... Can we instead, maybe, knock these two fuckos off the timeline? Which would have to be those two attacks, essentially, right? And that leaves this. At which point I probably would just do an AoE, yeah? Minus 25% defense versus crits. That seems pretty good. Maybe I do that, and then do our big boom slam stun, and he's gonna get totally wrecked here. Which I'm kind of into. So we do this, we do that. He's gonna go down to about half health and not be able to regen. I'm into that. Now, is that a worthwhile use of that last stun that we had? And are we going to get enough fury back to maybe do it again? That would be even better. I think we are going to just barely. So if we need to do that a second time in a row, we can do it, right? No, we can't. Why can't we do that again? We've got the stuff. We can't do it again. So... Now we would have to do, oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, we can't target the back row with this, can we? Okay, we can target the back row here. How much is that gonna do? That's gonna do 218 plus 142 plus 24 armor break. Not bad. Like that really prevents him from fucking doing most things. They're gonna be doing two big AoE attacks for fucking pain, but I think we got we gotta keep needling this fucker. We cannot let him reanimate his stuff. So maybe Maybe we just focus him down. So alright, with uh, Budget Han Solo and Robo Commando there. If we just focus down Dipshit McGee in the back there. We not. Okay, we'd have to do an AoE there, I think. So we can't target him with this, naturally. <sighs> I don't think we can, yeah, we can't cleave the back row. We did this. Set this 13. 13 armor plus whatever. Ugh, I wish I could target my big boom slam on him. <sighs> I have a feeling if we do it like this, he's gonna still get a bunch back. And I hate it. A uh, cannon fire, is that the random? That's the random targeting one. Alternatively, we just do that, which is gonna do nothing because armor is still too high. 
can't target broadside on that, unfortunately. But we can make sure that one of them, one of the other dipshits doesn't get to go. So I'm probably okay with that. Oh, but I needed him for the, the, the big combo attack, so that's not going to work. All right. But everybody else needs to kind of go here. I think I'm going to have any luck here. But if we then do the... Get our crits in. Do whatever we need to do. And now it's going to be a matter of, well, can we target the bat? We can target with very, a very light attack here. I don't know that that's going to do anything. So we might be better off just targeting the other fucks. Or doing this, eating all of the damage from everybody else. Which seems good, right? Because that'll do a reflect to 25% anyways. Yeah, let's do that. And then we do... Hope that maybe some of this... Oh no. Then we do the big boom slam here. So he'll get a little bit of health back and five armor back. I think that's acceptable. I think that's going to be acceptable. Because look at how low he is right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we'll have one big AoE attack here, which is not great. Don't like it. Um, so bye-bye shields. Um, get... You know, sort of big slam there. Armor's gone entirely, and he's almost fucking dead, which is great. Ouch, 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 ouch. Big hits there. Ah. 850 health back. And 50 shield. I hate it. Or 50 armor, rather. Fucking hate it. Alright. Now what, though? Can we do anything about this? Can we do enough about this where he's not gonna... Ah, that's a big AoE attack. I hate it. That's also a big AoE attack. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, can we? I mean, if we have the Aegis eat the attack again. Eat both big AoEs. She's gonna get, like, super toasted. But that's fine. I think that might be a... An acceptable sacrifice, since her damage output is not really doing well. She's the defender after all. Um, okay, let's let's cue that up and see what we can do about these other dipshits. Because he's going to be doing a big AOE attack, I think, regardless of what we do. So if we could get everybody to go before he does, and then maybe. Big armor attack there. I like that. Okay, let's. Like, what can we do about this? Can we? We can make sure that these two dipshits don't get to go, which might save our agents. I'd realistically love to just. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to kind of do it like this. Okay, so he's got a he's got a health steal on him. Just make sure that this guy doesn't get to go. I don't think that saves our age, does it? Because he was not doing. Was he doing the AoE? No, he was doing the single target. But, that lets us do then this, and then lets us do effectively a Sunder there, and perhaps, uh, I'd really prefer, it's gonna do most of the damage there, but I think I'd probably prefer an AoE do whatever damage we've got there, right? 
so that should at least save the Aegis' life. And protect most everybody else at the time, so that's probably the, the better play. Now we're working up to a, a much larger attack here. It's gonna do that, whatever. Oh, no, that takes her out regardless, huh? Okay. That's alright. That's alright. I think we might be okay. <laughs> So now we've really just got the one big attack we can do, but we can't do either of the other ones. Because we... Ah, oh man, it didn't... Did it ever tell us that we could only do one combo... One particular combo attack for combat? I don't think it ever did. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Alright. Well, I think the good news is... If we really focus down dip shit in the back. We might be able to make this work. So how's everybody doing here? I think everybody sur- well, I mean, she's already dead. But I think everybody survives the attacks in this round. So if we don't bother We don't bother trying to delay them. Try to work down dipshit in the back as best we can. So that takes out the rest of his armor there, pushes him back a little bit. Okay, does this do... hold on a second. That only does 10. I need something that does better than 10. 40, but I can't target him with it. Can I? No. Figures. The other... And the only other thing I have is shock and awe, which would be great. You know, well, maybe we use that to... get rid of one of these fuckers. Like, that might be a good idea, too. Could realistically just push him off, or push him off. Can we get them both, maybe? Because that does a fair amount to that idiot. That gets him the rest of the way. That gets that guy the rest of the way. Okay. Let me just kind of work these dudes down a little bit. There goes all his armor. Another plus eight fury, whatever. Dude should be out of there, right? And she'll take a big hit. That's fine. She's still got plenty. She's still got shield left, so whatever. Um, now it's going to be a matter of can we? Get this guy out of here. <laughs> can we get that guy out of here before he's a problem? How much health does he have left? 599. Damn, he's got a lot. we have here that's 20. Okay, could get that dude out of here entirely, yeah? And then focus down, frontline idiot. That, ah, that does so much damage. I hate it. I wish I had an additional stun I could use. The alternative is to try to focus him down, but I really need to get rid of his front line so I can use a big combo attack on him. The other option is to use this here. Get rid of... Honestly, probably that guy. Get rid of that guy. Or that guy. Can we get rid of that guy right away? Yeah. That takes him entirely out of the picture. Let's do it.
gets him out. Like, that's pretty important that he gets out of here. Does that open up? No. He's still got that guy kind of doing the thing there. But... It's not enough to get rid of him, huh? Okay. But we can do... What do we have left? Just those two, huh? Shit. Damn, we were so close to getting that guy out of there, too. Um... So what are we looking at as far as... I think it's just this guy doing the big AoE. Uh... Well, it's going to be kind of gross, but most people will survive. So then our options are to maybe just try to get this guy almost entirely out of here. Won't, but... Take down even more of his armor. And then we've got, you know, big attack there, which should get rid of the entirety of his armor. Yep, that's good. don't like this. This is going to be a big hit. Yeah. Now it's going to be a question of who gets to go first? <laughs> Who's going to get to go first? And will we be able to survive? I think this is going to be it for him. I think all of our, well, except for this one, which we can't do, she's dead. But I think all of our combos are eaten up. So the remainder of our stuff is gonna be, yeah, let's just murder. Let's see, who's the fastest here? Let me get that dude down. Maybe we can get him off the field, which is fine. I think we're then gonna do 50% damage on the target, though. Uh, that's a free action, yeah. Okay. How much does he have left? He's got 766 left. What can we target? How can we target him? Not like that. And what's his next attack? Okay, he's doing a single against our floaty bomb robot dude. But he'll survive. He'll survive that, I think, no matter what. So I think we're probably best off. Boom there. Um, boom there. There's a kill shot. Right? And then can we kind of organize the rest of our attacks kind of in between things? We sort of can. He'll be dead, but he'll then be eating whatever shot that's going to be. I'm probably going to want to do this to push him back a little bit. Oh, that's going to be it, right? But there goes that fucko. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. Um, that guy get pushed back slightly. Armor's gone, and then he'll take the full blast of this. 207's not bad. He'll get to attack, which is fine. Whatever. No problem. And now it's uh, four on one. I like these odds a little bit better. Because now we can just do probably big boom slams all over the place. And he's gonna die. Right? Yeah, there's a kill shot. And sure, we get kill shots all over the place here. So we're gonna win this fight, but I have a feeling there's gonna be another fight immediately after. Which troubles me a little bit. Uh, 
Oh no, or he's gonna be like another phase. It's gonna be another phase of this fight. Oh no, okay, now he's... Oh, okay, good. Um, what in the world? <laughs> what in the world is this now? Um, excuse me. Yeah, and me without my ability to... Whatever the fuck that's gonna do. I have a feeling that's gonna respawn him unless we murder this right now. That's a problem. So what do we have that can uh, that can do this here? I'll do most of it. It's not gonna do all of it. I hate it. I hate that this isn't gonna do it in one go. Because I have a feeling this is now gonna revive him at like quarter health or half health or something. Which now we are very much not prepared to fight him again. So yeah, what is this gonna revive? What is this gonna do? Oh, I hate whatever that is. Yeah, okay. Excuse me! Come on! No! Ah... Uh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Come on! Is he at full health and shit? Okay, no, he's not full health, but that's still dumb. Ah, uh, it's still really stupid. Okay. Well, at least make sure he doesn't get to go again, and then I'm gonna fucking focus down back shit dipshit here. Try to as best we can. Because if I'm going to have to worry about this thing having additional attacks and also being able to re revive this dipshit a third time. Second time? Second time, I guess. That's going to be a big fucking problem. <laughs> okay. So at least we don't have to worry about that. I don't like that attack. <laughs> That's... What are you doing? What is that? What was that? Okay, so that's a revenge attack thing going on there. <sighs> okay, we can ensure that he doesn't get to go again. That's probably fine. Other problem with this is that I need to... <laughs> Still got 85 armor. Ah, hate it. Okay, what is what is this attack? That's a the big AOE. Uh, no, it's not that big of an AOE actually. Oh, it kind of is though. So now we're getting close to floaty robo-friend eating it. Once he eats it, that's the end. So, um... I need to push him off again. I can't... I can't not push him off. But he's gonna be able to go next turn regardless, I think, so... I think I have any other choice. I mean, the other choice is to focus down back row dipshit again, and... Yeah, I think I, I need him to not go this turn. Gonna get a counter in there. Whatever. Budget Han Solo will take it on the chin. It's fine. Now what do we do? Do we try to... 
Just really focus them down and just take the counters as they come here. Okay, that goes kind of late. You know what? Let's cue that up. So by the time... Oh, but his armor is going to protect him from a lot, which annoys me. It annoys me. Um, so maybe we focus down with armor break, right? So by the time we get there, his armor will be pretty well busted. Probably want to do even more armor break there. And then even more armor break there. Then it'll be down to about half health and significantly reduced armor, right? Alternatively, we try to work uh, just the random AoE into there and see what see what hits, right? So that'll be a late go, and then we do this to... Well, it's gonna be that. So then maybe we retool. Get the shield out of there, right? Oh, uh, well. Takes the shield down before the AoE goes. And also do that, which... Yeah, it doesn't do as much, I don't think. Alright, let me uh, retool this again. Uh, cancel that. Let's do Sunder instead. And then also Dumbfire, which... Actually, that does less. Does, does less overall, depending on how much other... Like, what does this AoE even do? It doesn't do any armor pierce, and it does 71 at its crack, which means he's mostly protected by his armor anyway, so we may as well just do all armor bust all the time, and then we'll deal with whatever from the back row. Dipshit. Plus we get an armor absorb there. I forgot we had that. That's good. Got health absorb, which is good. There goes a shield. That's fine. That, just a 13 armor break. Shields are gone, just unfortunate. Okay, now, though, um... He's gonna get to go. That's a big AoE. But I think we need to... We either, do we need to go before him, I guess? And we may as well just beef up everything we got, yeah? Use the Fury, because otherwise we're not gonna be able to use it. Oh shit, we can do it twice? <laughs> uh, Hmm, that might actually be interesting then. Because then we've got Armor Pierce. Oh, that does to everybody. Okay, I'm into that. Um, and then we can do Battle Cry again, which I guess I didn't realize we could do that twice. Now does that stack? I don't know if that stacks. I hope I didn't just do a dump. Then we do even more armor damage there. And that's gonna be a kill shot, huh? I have my doubts about that. You know what? If this is gonna say it's a kill shot, I'm, I'm okay with that. He'll get the counter there, I don't fucking care. Whatever. It's saying it's a kill shot, that's kind of incredible if true. Okay, he's dead again. <laughs> uh, we still got that shithead hanging out there. Okay, but now we've got essentially just free reign to wreck shop, yeah? And 
I think we've got enough output that this fucker should be dead. Yes, thank you. We're not dealing with any of his armor or any of his shields. Fuck. Toast. Should be toast. Protag gets the kill, which seems appropriate. Okay! <laughs> Everybody... I mean, mostly survived. Oh, and that counts as the end of the run, huh? Okay. Well, that's kind of a... Um... Hmm. Kind of a letdown as far as an ending, because we really fought for that. Are we gonna get, like, some cutscene at least? Or a little... Little taste of flavor? Oh, that's it. We get to talk to the space dog. Oh, that's it, huh? But now everybody, like, we got lots of unlocks. <laughs> now we get a bunch of flavor, right? I guess this is, uh... Probably the dev area now, yeah. Yeah. They talk to each one of us exactly 100 times on the <laughs> right, sure. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, I was expecting at least maybe a little ending cutscene thing on account of, hey, we did it. But... I mean, this is, this is a cool, this is a cool little dev room thing, though. I like it. Alright, there's gotta be more to this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No? Okay. <laughs> Those drink tickets? No. Damn it. Alright. Uh, you know how the game is too hard? I mean, it is a very difficult game. Like, even normal took a little bit of doing, right? Ah. Ah. Oh, that's it. Damn, I was expecting another one. Oh, that's alright. Halcyon 6 is another game that was kind of confusing at first, too, so that's pretty accurate. Okay, now it's either a bug or something to distract you to keep talking and get the same thing, huh? Okay, I mean, I guess we did it. Okay, good. At least we're gonna get something about this. Like, hey, you, you did it on normal. Congratulations. Now there's an actual bigger bad fight beyond that one. Right? Almost certainly at this point, right? Okay, here's like a slight cutscene, I guess. Okay. Alright. This is like an indication that, yeah, nothing has really fucking changed, right? It's just a different timeline, different universe, different whatever. That's gonna get fucked over, and then, uh, you know, you do it all again, right? That's the... That's the conceit here. Yeah, more or less. 
That's what I'm gonna guess anyways. <clears throat> right, okay, so we we murdered Wynn's brother, and now there's like evil Wynn that we have to fight, probably. And it's more or less the same thing. She got less shield. Less well, more armor, less shield. Probably about the same health. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. I think. Alright, so we get more unlocks. Our hero perks and stuff, that's cool. That's a lot of unlocks. Alright, that's good. Okay. Armor, more attack, armor damage. Conquer a new reality. You saved us. Maybe you can save them too. No, I just. What about those? Like, why can't those other realities save themselves? Did a lot of work. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I see. I see. So we we murdered evil Davian, right? So now we can get good Davian to lead the, the good folks against evil Win. I I see. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, boy. Um, that all that all that shit costs intel, yeah. And we can get other folks here. Oh, there's the Dune dude. I think we saved, right? Um, that seems like that seems pretty good. Is there anything else that costs intel here? No, this is the other, whatever the other currency is. Okay, what about over here? Ooh! Oh, I see. That's expensive. Uh, okay. There's that, of course, yeah. Alright, so I guess I want more... Folks. Yeah, there we go. More folks with guns! Like, why would we bring a, a big S-word to a gunfight? It's really a big question. And there's our, uh, there's our conspiracy theorist dude, right? I don't, who is this? Oh, that's the Aegis, yeah. Um, since we had a successful run with her, right? So, yoink. Into that. Then we can just unlock whatever else we got currency for. Okay, um, yeah, that seems fine. And we've got 200 other currency to use, which... This is what, all different weapon and... Oh man, equipment type unlocks, right? Great. Uh... Sure. Also sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, we're down to one. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that goes pretty quick. We're down to pretty much nothing the way it'd be. Okay. Well, then what's the other? Okay. That's the other one we can't really afford. If we go back in here, is this just uh, permanently unlocked? Yeah, okay. And wait, where was the... Wasn't the doggo in here before? Is the, did the doggo leave? Got sick of us petting him or something? Yeah, I guess the doggo's gone. Ah, well. Alright, well then I guess that means we could, in, in theory, do like a hard mode run or something. But boy, that normal run cost us a lot. <laughs> Alright, what happens if we do this? Does this like, take us back to... Okay, yeah, yeah. And you defeat the Overseer and Kurlin here, the hero will gain a star next to our portrait. Starting as they've been unlocked to the Prime Dimension. You unlock six years and you can travel to the Prime Dimension with your squad after beating a run. Oh my god. Wow. Um, that seems like a lot. Alright, he's still... He's still locked somehow, right? I guess we've unlocked most of everybody else. There's still five... I have people locked here. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess all these folks then are ready for pick three to start a new run, right? I don't know if I want to do that tonight. <laughs> we finished off a run successfully, that's that's the important bit really. Um, but we might give it one more go on Wednesday just to see how far we can get the next run. Um, I am curious if this is still going to technically be on normal or if it lets us um, <clears throat> reselect a difficulty. Or if it's going to be like, no, yeah, this is normal forever on this save file. Um, I want to play the tutorial. I, I wonder if it matters. Because I imagine most of those unlocks are permanent now, regardless. I guess we could just throw together a quick team here, and if we need to reset it for next time, that's fine too. Alright, well, considering we can... Murder Davian. Let's take him, I guess. And I do like the... The idea of having another gun. And also, oh boy, uh, got kind of lightweight staggers. I do like AoE, I know, and I know the uh, Guardian has good AoE too, so uh, let's do that. Oh, and then we get to pick other stuff. Uh, damage by 10%, crit damage by 15, hell yeah. Um, increase health by 20, damage by 10%. Crit pierces, crit damage pierces armor and shields by 25%, like that. Huh. Ah, here we go. Here's the, uh, the difficulty selection. This is what I was kind of curious about. Uh, regular health, blah, 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 blah. Regular health shields, like regular damage. Uh, everything is boosted by 10%, but we get 25% more stuff. Which seems good. Yeah, Arch, why not? We're ready for Arch, right? Okay, and then we get kind of this alternate timeline, like, yeah, it wasn't, uh... Or maybe it's when did still survive? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't need to... Do I need to play this tutorial again? Oh, wait, and it's like, oh, shit. Uh, she gets captured or whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's the explanation for her being, like, super evil shit, right? Okay, well, that was a kind of a weird and abbreviated little thing then. And then that, does that pop us right into... I guess this is the intro thing? Still probably under the same restrictions as before. This is really just the start of the next run, yeah. So, fight, extra level of juice, fight, armor and stuff, and then equipment and fight. I think at this point it's more or less the same, no matter which direction we head. I would prefer, probably, to have the equip- Oh, but I think he's guarding that no matter what. So we probably don't need the armor boost, necessarily. We know what's going on. As long as we're getting two fights plus level up juice. B. Oh, one fight plus two level up juices. Um... Probably about the same. Either way we go here, right? I guess we get the extra food bit if we go this way, right? So, alright. That fine, then. We as well just yoink a Ruski there. And then we won't do this actual fight. We'll end the night here. We get five level up juices there. After this fight, we'll be able to level up somebody once, and then we'll get extra level up juice there, and then that'll be the fight there. Okay. Well, 
I am happy to have at least beat that run. That was fun. We knew what was going on, and we kind of sight-read the last bit of it, so you know what? I'm satisfied with that. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll come back to Star Renegades one more time, at least on Wednesday. See how far we get into that run, and then we'll kind of make a, a judgment call probably early next week as to whether or not we want to continue um, with this, because this is fun. I like it. Um, I just don't know if I want to go through another entire run. Um, but that'll be Wednesday, 7 p.m. CDT. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club. Um, we've got... Uh, Ginga Fuke, Densetsu Sapphire, and Universe, and uh, Ginga Force on tap for that. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then uh, Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be more Talus Principle 2. Continuing on the DLC puzzles. We've got at least a couple weeks probably left with that, or a couple sessions, rather, considering our kind of sluggish pace taking care of the really hard puzzles. Um, but all right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.